Okay, so behind me, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm standing in front of the uh, uh, Wellington between Lyon and Kent. Uh, Lyon, not lying, Lyon, like William Lyon, Mackenzie King, L Y O N. And behind me is the stream, Supreme Court of Canada. Uh, they say this is the highest court in the land but I don't know why this court is not on Mount Logan if it's the highest court in the land it should be on Mount Logan uh, it's a bit of a Canadian joke so this is a Supreme Court a bit of information about the Supreme Court so there, it's a nine member uh, uh, nine member uh, and they're uh, to, uh, totally impartial so they're not politically affiliated and uh, so how are they are they nominated so there's a special committee of uh, member parliament and uh, and the senate who uh, who uh, interview the chosen candidate now the prime minister selects the candidate based on recommendations and so on but it's an impartial and they go through a committee and the committee has to approve it the nomination or not and the committee is uh, impartial so it's the committee is form of members of parliament on both sides uh, the house and the senate but it's totally impartial where um, it's not based on your uh, political affiliation or your decision but it's based on your decision and your qualifications now to be a judge in the Supreme Court of Canada, you have to be a member of the bar, uh, a provincial uh, bar. Uh, now, Quebec has three seats. Now, why Quebec has three seats? Because in Canada, in uh, Canada, we have two uh, systems. We have the civil law and the um, uh, common law. Sorry, civil and common law. Common law is, uh, is everywhere except Quebec. Civil law is... Uh, in Quebec and it's based on uh, France so civil law is basically is uh, whatever law has been decided in Parliament that's the law common law if there's no law in the uh, in the government then uh, uh, based on pre uh, uh, precedence or uh, the judge make a, a decision so it's uh, yeah it's there's a difference between civil and common law so that's why three judges are from Quebec because to represent uh, any litigation that comes from Quebec that ha that deals with civil law, they need to have a good understanding of how things are done in that province. Uh, judges have to ideally to be bilingual. So the the head the uh, supreme uh, the chief justice is uh, 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 actually he was the acting governor general. I just forgot his name. Uh, used to be Beverly McLaughlin from Alberta, but it got replaced with uh, with a Chief Justice uh, from Quebec. If I could find his name, that would be wonderful. Uh, but yeah, yeah, most of the judges ideally to be bilingual because the proceedings are both French and English, and judges need to understand both languages, especially when there's uh, judicial uh, lingo. Uh, not everything is heard in front of the Supreme Court. I mean, uh, when, when a case is brought up to the Supreme Court, it has to be, uh, if there is, uh, if there is uh, interest to the Canadian public. But before a case is being heard to nine judges, um, three judges sit and listen to the presentation. If they deem that is acceptable, or uh, if they accept to hear the case, then uh, it goes in front of the whole uh, uh, committee. So, so that's wonderful, Supreme Court of Canada. It's nice. I've been inside. I haven't been inside for a, uh, for a, a, to hear a case, but I'm sure it's very interesting. But I've seen a couple of cases on TV, and let me say it's uh, it's interesting. And uh, I've read some decisions relevant to uh, trade uh, when I used to work at a customs brokerage business. So it was in interesting how the uh, Supreme Court decides. So it's awesome. So uh, yeah, I just want to share with you. Uh, the Supreme Court of Canada and it's a building and by the way uh, it's much longer behind so it doesn't look big from the front but there's a lot of office behind okay so enjoy God bless